We've been anticipating Season 7 since May 2022, but the break is finally coming to an end. Outlander has officially been renewed for another season, and by releasing a teaser trailer, Stars single-handedly cured many fans of January blues. So stay with me until the end, as I have some really great news to share with you. Now let's kick off with the news. And that must be what electric light is like. Plunging fans back into another Droughtlander, Outlander Season 6 has reached its pretty dramatic denouement, but I must say, it was a bit of a rickety 8-episode ride to get there. With its murders, deaths, and pregnancies, the show felt a bit flat as well as repetitive. Obviously, some of that is down to author Diana Gabaldon's choices. With just 8 episodes, the season's pacing was clearly thrown out of whack. Either way, this season had a booming 89% rating on Rotten Tomatoes with an average rating of 7.8 out of 10 based on 9 reviews. So it's not a surprise why the show was renewed for another season. The hit series Outlander embodies everything about our initiative, including a powerful female lead character and an amazing team of storytellers. I'm from the future. We look forward to following the adventures of Claire and Jamie in America during the revolution, as well as more time travel during the next season, said Christina Davies, who is the president of original programming for Stars. But where do we stand now? With a notice about the Declaration of Independence being ripped down, the American Revolution is in full swing, Claire in a noose at the gallows and a casket being carried to a grave. The sixth season left a huge cliffhanger. There's a revolution and America really is in sort of turmoil. And if you remember, there's a prophecy of Claire and Jamie's death. So much is going on. Nobody could put the blame on the creators as the last season was cut short after the eighth episode and Balf's maternity leave and COVID-19 protocols. In fact, this could make the new season even better. It has been announced that the missing episodes will be part of the upcoming season, which will make the historical drama's 2023 arc 16 episodes. I told you I would fight with you, Bear Killer. Talking to US Magazine, Sam Hewn said, This really is a supersized season. We really start off with a bang. The first couple of episodes are really strong. It's still hard for the Scottish actor to imagine the show coming to an end one day as they head into season 7. And we must admit we feel the same way. Anyway, Diana Gabaldon's Outlander book series includes nine novels, so he doesn't have to worry about running out of stories. Taking in mind that the author has stated the 10th, this could possibly go forever. Ain't nobody complains about that. As you may be aware, each season covers about one book and an echo in the bone Gabaldon's seventh novel will serve as the source material for season seven. However, there might be an exception here, as season 6 was cut short, so it won't be a surprise if a few details cut from the 6th book end up in this one. With that being said, when exactly will season 7 be released, and what do we get with that? As it was announced back in December, season 7 will hit the screens in the summer of 2023. To make up for this Droughtlander, the creators just announced a season featuring 16 episodes. Claire, do you have something to tell you? We're closely following the progress and the production of the season started at the beginning of 2022 with a photo of Sam Hewen shared on Twitter that just got official. Also, do you remember that teaser video from June last year? We're here working for you. On what is, I think, my favorite season yet, said Sophie Skelton, which amazed the fans once again. All the way to the end, we've seen many videos and interviews which helped with anticipation that we had, but now that we know what the show is coming back this summer, let's talk about the cast a little bit. Here I am on the set of season 7. We are here working hard for you on what is, I think, my favorite season yet. You will be happy to hear that the main cast is hitting that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. No, really, the main cast is set to return for the new season. All of them, Katrina Balf and Sam Hewen, are coming back at the helm of the entire series. That's Claire and Jamie Fraser. Richard Rankin and Sophie Skelton will also be reprising their roles as Roger and Bree McKenzie. David Barry will return as Lord John Gray. And John Bell is returning as young Ian. You can all this time, Uncle. Not many people would understand, so we kept it between ourselves. Paul Gorman will return as both Josiah and Keziah Birdsley, while Caitlin O'Ryan is coming back as Lizzie. Season 7 will also introduce some new faces as brand new characters. Charles Vandervaart has been cast to play Jamie's secret son, William Ramson, who is now a grown British soldier. Joey Phillips got the role of Dr. Denzel Hunter, and alongside him, there is Izzy Michael Small, who is going to take the role of his sister Rachel Hunter, most likely the love interest of young Ian. There's something that you'd probably won't like to hear. Unfortunately, Cesar Domboy and Lauren Lyle won't come back as Marsali and Fergus Fraser since they left Fraser's Ridge without any indication of coming back. Furthermore, we didn't see them in any behind-the-scenes videos of the series while filming on location in Scotland. 
His name is Fergus Claudel Fraser. And after that being said, we all expected the first official teaser trailer to be released, and we got it. At the beginning of 2023, stars heard our wishes and offered our first glimpse at the new footage from Season 7. I dream of the past. Why would I not dream of the future? We hear this sentence in our dreams ever since the trailer was released. In the video, we can see Jamie describing to Claire a recent dream he's had. There was a light all around you, but it wasn't candlelight or firelight. I thought, and that must be what electric light is like. But these from the 18th century, how can you recognize something you've never seen before? I would say that this is going to be the best season so far. And now the most important question, the plot. As mentioned before, Outlander is based on a series of novels written by Diana Gabaldon, and the new season will follow the events of an echo in the bone. The seventh season, season seven, will likely pick up exactly where season six ended, given the previous season's cliffhanger. Despite the noose around her neck in the show's teaser video, it's all but guaranteed Claire won't meet death. She'll smash that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell. No, really, in all seriousness now, she'll be saved, somehow, I guess, after which she and Jamie will face other obstacles on their road in Fraser's Ridge. Roger and Bree are getting a new baby, so they'll probably rethink their time at the Ridge. The American Revolution will probably be the major aspect of Season 7. Ever since Claire and Jamie washed ashore in America back in Season 4, the war has been slowly building. So the upcoming season is likely to present the powder keg finally exploding, but since Jamie and Claire already know how the revolution ends, that will definitely affect how they approach the war. However, throughout the season, characters such as Jamie's secret son, Lord Grey and William will be filled with patriotic vigor for the British. So would that put Jamie at odds with the people he loves? We'll see. One thing is sure, putting many characters in precarious situations, multiple storylines will converge against the backdrop of the war. It's important to mention that in 2022, development began on Outlander Blood of My Blood, a prequel series that will focus on Jamie Fraser's parents. With the 10-episode first season, the series was officially picked up by stars in January 2023. Now that we know the release date, the cast and something about the plot, we just hope to hear more details in the meantime. And before we go, I have to share this as well. Season 7 won't be the last one for sure. It seems like we'll hang out with Jamie and Claire a bit longer than we thought. And what about you? What do you think will be the main focus of the new season? Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.